We're here. Thank you for taking care of little comrade August, miss. Hmm? Uh, you mean I'm not here to be questioned? Or arrested? <laughs> of course not. Perhaps we're a little too optimistic, but when we meet a stranger, we prefer to welcome them. Oh, well, I'm Winsong. That's a very unique name. And where is it you come from? From the east side of the Dniester River. Offense, miss, but you have a complicated and unfamiliar scent about you. The smell of hard rocks, a lighthouse by the sea, rainwater in a humid summer. Hmm, nothing hostile, though. <laughs> I think most rootless travelers like me smell like that. Welcome to Rayashki, Miss Winsong. Thank you. I understand your caution, but... You have nothing to worry about. It's not a disease. Anyway, let's talk about you. I heard that you are a researcher. Not long ago, many of your peers visited here. They wandered around and looked under every rock and floorboard in the town, like you do. I thought perhaps they were attracted here by the town itself. But regrettably, not long after, they left one after another in disappointment. I was disappointed too. Will you be... like them? <laughs> Those people are famous scholars. Of course they won't spend too much time on a project with unclear prospects. But I... I'm used to those. I salute you for your courage and spirit of exploration. I thought you... I thought you might be more hostile to me. Shouting things like, Who do you think you are to prowl about on our private property? <laughs> huh? Many see the study of ley lines like finding a needle in the grass of a Siberian field. Wasted effort with negligible results. There is no such thing as meaningless work. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, or what you do. You will find your purpose here. Is that so? No wonder how you have such an unusual student like August. All that childhood wonder. Innocence. Somehow you've preserved it in him, haven't you? <laughs> Is the show finished? We cancelled our rehearsal, August. Mr. Evgeny just left red-faced. Yes, and he cancelled the friendship cheese on the food menu. 
All thanks to you. But I was welcoming our new friend. And we have lost our cheese because of you. This is all your fault. You're the most bothersome kid in Ryashki. I know that word. Most means the best. So thank you, Piotr. You! August, we don't see anyone new here. You're not lying again, are you? He's with Vila. They greet each other, share footprints, and even sing together. Wensong is also the best. She can draw many lines on the snow, and even on a seagull. We're not having another freak in town, right? Do you mean drawing on the blackboard, like Miss Vila did? She made the earth turn into a tall, tall wall, and she blew her breath at it and made a building appear. If we had enough lay hunters like her working together, we would be able to send sunflowers high into the sky. Ah, that's not so tough. All the men in town know how to build stuff like that. When we grow up, we will work like them, with hoes and shovels. But that will take ages. If we can learn how to build like the lay hunters, then we can help the adults right now. Don't listen to Ovgus. <laughs> Greetings, Miss Winsong. Is it true? Can you really shape the earth into different things and build things from it? Not exactly. The things I build with my arcane skill have only a momentary effect. I can't use it that way. I learned it as part of my research while studying ley lines. Miss Vien Song, the Sphinx Afkus told us. Are they true? The sun that closes its eyes, the dark clouds that spit on people, and the lines that can reveal everything. Miss Winsong, will you be our teacher? Like Miss Vila? Can you prove anything? Kids, one question at a time. Sorry, Miss Vila. I should explain it to them. Mine is not a formal discipline. Many people believe that it relies too much on the observations of arcanists, and the conclusions aren't useful for the public. So it is best that you kids do not study it. <sighs> a pursuit of passion fit for only a very stubborn fool like me. I see. Then you must show us all about it. Should she get? I'm sure Miss Wonsong would be very happy to give us a special lesson about her studies. Uh, uh huh. Miss Vila, I thought I made myself clear. You have worked hard in this pursuit of passion, haven't you? Regardless, the study of ley lines is... well... it's useless. Useless?
These kids should learn something like geography. It's a much more thorough and important field. As far as the general public and academic institutions are concerned, the study of ley lines is just a niche aspect of geography. Worse still, one that is solely accessible to arcanists. To devote any real time to its investigation would take up valuable research funds and equally valuable researchers. At least that was how they felt about it. Who can say for certain? What about you? Do you also think that the study of ley lines is a waste of funds and manpower? I... of course I don't. Through ley lines we can detect Arcanum-related events in the area, learn about local arcane creatures, and find the secrets hidden both above and below the Earth's surface. But... I can't yet prove this to people. Well, you don't have to prove it alone. It doesn't matter what others think of your work. The only important thing is finding its uses. At first, Rayashki was just a remote village, far north in the Arctic Circle. People came here to share a dream of a better future. It was only by luck that we found the Runia. Then, Zeno approached us and became our business partner. For over 60 years, people here have worked together to make it what it is now. We built the school, the swimming pool, and the cinema for everyone. Rayashki embraces and takes in every newcomer. You and your studies are no exception. This is what our paths need. just doing this for you. I'm doing this for a better future. A well-rounded education is vital in bringing up the next generation of scientists and workers. Our children should learn more about this world even from those perspectives and types of knowledge that aren't widely accepted. Thank you, Miss Vila.